Well, Simon, a very warm welcome to Pompey. How did everything come about and, and what discussions have you had with Danny and Nicky? Yeah, you know, um, delighted to be here. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, come about really sort of late in the conference season, really. I went into Barnet and, and, and started being manager of Barnet from April onwards um, and was fine, was doing well. Uh, ticking along and then obviously got a phone call from Danny something that we'd spoke about over a number of years working together um, never quite the opportunity never quite arose so uh, when it did come up you know I was delighted to to accept his offer and I'm really 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 happy to be here yeah and what is your sort of relationship with Danny what sort of things have you worked on together in the past um, really just a kind of a friendship a football friendship really um, Danny rang me for some players about seven years ago I think um, just out of blue never met him before and uh, I gave him a couple of players and I think they obviously done quite well for him but we stayed in contact ever since really and, and really our common interests our obsessions really a common obsession of football and now we like it to be played and and the characters we want to work with and, and be around um, really a real alignment between me and Danny and Nicky really so a relationship built from there and uh, one that hopefully can build going forward. Yes, it's a word that we hear a lot sort of aligned. How do you see things in terms of the ambition for the club and what you want to achieve next season? Yeah, listen, it's a huge football club. I don't think anyone comes away from that. Um, we're here to be hopefully successful, um, short term, medium term, long term. You know, I think everyone uh, needs to get on board with that and, and see where we want to push this football club. It's, uh, it's got good owners now, you know, the infrastructure's changing for the better. Um, so really we want to start pushing forward and making Portsmouth a real force. Yeah, and you'll know Portsmouth well from your, your long association with AFC Wimbledon. They sort of locked horns on a, on a number of occasions. Yep, it's always one of the best places to play. Fratton Park's a brilliant stadium. I I'm I'm love the old style football clubs. You know, the old grounds, you know, historically, you know, beautiful places, brilliant atmospheres, tight pitches, and, uh, you know, as many as them we can keep in football, I think it's great, and Fran Park's certainly one of the best atmospheres in, uh, in the Football League. Just tell us a little bit about your time at Barnet. I mean, obviously, you, you said it was going well, but there can't have been too many tougher <laughs> seasons to be a football manager than last one. No, difficult. I mean, obviously, I had a bit of time out there. Uh, out of the game when I left Wimbledon, um, done some recruitment stuff at, at championship level um, and then the opportunity to go to Barnet arose um, to be a manager which was something that I'd, I'd been a caretaker manager before at Wimbledon twice um, so I went into Barnet and really enjoyed it, you know difficult uh, situation to take over, they wasn't, they'd won three games in 29 um, and it wasn't going well, but went in there for 13 games and really, really enjoyed it. Got a good response from the players. Um, remarkable um, achievement, really. We got close to to uh, getting off the bottom of the table. Um, so really happy with how it went there. Um, but this was, again, too good an opportunity to turn down. Yeah, and in terms of your, your time here looking ahead, what, what sort of role are you going to be playing? You're obviously here as first team coach. Is that going to be quite hands-on on the training ground, sort of doing drills and, and all the rest of it? Yeah, I say uh, hopefully it's, uh, you know, being part of the team and I think we, we work best when there's a team, you know, and Danny's really keen not to be uh, a hierarchy, so to speak, so everyone mucks in. You know, I think he's mentioned before, lean and mean as a staff. So we're all in, we're all hard working um, and we all really contribute to all aspects of the job. And I suppose from your point of view, you must be really looking forward to next week when, when everything kicks off again. Yeah, listen, can't wait Thursday. Uh, really great day, always look forward to the fixtures coming out. You know, you can start, it starts feeling real then, you can start plotting your journey. Um, obviously Friday the boys are in for testing so great to meet them uh, and then get to start and get to work on Monday so we've got lots to do but you know we've been certainly working hard 13 hour days uh, since I come in to, to sort of add to the squad and improve and uh, that's what everyone's got to try and do.